that was traumatizing you. It's not okay. I'm walking into this. It's crazy. You want a storyline just like Tinkerbell a dirty ass. I ain't did nothing to nobody. Akbar's getting lawyers and someone might be going to jail, man. After the BB got pulled out and the house ended up getting surrounded by girls. People are assuming it's Tommy girls, but it could have been the girls from Detroit. So let's get straight into the drama. Let's get into the timeline of events of what happened. Apparently Tommy Lee was speaking to a psychic, which told her, hey, you gonna get jumped. You expect me to walk into my job and feel safe after I've read all these things. And you even got a psychic coming to me say, Tommy, you're gonna get jumped. I don't think you should go there. A baddie psychic. Go up to somewhere. I don't even know some of these people. It's like so wild. Like, I don't even know you. I don't even know you people. No, I don't know y'all. Y'all don't know me. You expect me to walk into my job. And feel safe. Tommy apparently gets a BB gun and puts it into this teddy bear. Now, does that look like a BB gun to you? Let me know in the comment section below. It could be a vape. I don't know. Could be a toy. Uh, Tommy pulls up. Basically, you know, her and Roly get the. It start. It was going good. It went fine. It seemed like you know they was moving past it. You know they both was you know talking it out real civilized. X Y and Z. Cool. They talk it out civilized. All right. So in the midst of them, her and Roly talking about civilized, Scotty's asking Tommy what's in her purse. Tommy pulls out a, a stuffed animal. They saying it's a teddy bear. You know, she's like, this is my stress animal. This is my stress animal. All right. So Tommy and Akbar start going back and forth. And it wasn't like, they wasn't like really too much arguing, but it was funny. They was both like being petty, saying too much. Like you didn't give they was going to fight. So then Tinkabella, she in the background. Tinkabella like, hey, if both of y'all don't fight, I'm going to smack both of y'all. So now... You're saying that you're gonna, somebody said they're gonna smack me. I'm gonna slap this Tommy. I don't know, like, I don't know how they talk, so I can't say it in their words. I'm gonna smack the Tommy. I'm gonna smack Tommy teeth out of her mouth. I have to pay for this. I'm gonna knock. So it's just like, ah, uh, I'm walking into this. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know if she said she had a. What the f she said? She's she gonna smack the sh out of me. That was one person. The other person said they're gonna cut my face off. Like all these weird ass dreams that you guys got, like making up a person that you don't even. Tinka tries to run up on Tommy. Tommy ends up. Now, apparently, Tommy hit some people, and if you guys know anything about all like electronic, electronic BBs. They be hurting, man. Okay, I remember I got jumped in the butch by these little kids with um homemade BB guns. And yeah, they hurt. <laughs> Baby, as soon as I seen that gun, I got the hell on. I don't play with, I don't play. Baby, you, 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 you. And Tommy's saying she ran out of the house and someone's like taking bang bangs at her. Oh, and, and then we yeah, had made it out. <laughs> bah! Ah! We had made it out, bitch. That shit was like four and up. Bah, bah, bah. Guns on me, and I'm like, I'm ducking all that shit. Uh -uh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do <laughs> dodging bullets, like, then I had came down, like, yeah. yo, please, somebody help me. Somebody help me. I like, somebody help me. Somebody help me. Then, boom, I'm dodging. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah. Now, I don't know if she's trolling, but according to the internet, people were saying there was a house meeting last night before the cop appearance. And there were too many fights to break. Tommy pulled out up. Girls were punched by security. People sneaking. People. Weapons were pulled. Gangs were surrounding the house. Anna and Scotty as well. So it turns out. Other girls were turning up to the house. That wasn't part of my daddy's I'm guessing. But Akbar ended up leaving. I'm out. Y'all make sure y'all have a, a good season. But baby I gotta go. I'm not okay. And what's going on um, is not okay. So, to the baddies that I met, I enjoyed you girls. Y'all live it up. Have a nice day. Now, Akbar's here saying it's not okay. Tell me why in the next live, 
she acted like she wasn't upset with what actually happened at the house and she didn't leave because of that. She left because of other things. Stop listening to these tea pages. Stop. Listen, we don't have nothing but a week left of feminine. If that. <clears throat> Y'all stop it. Just stop. <clears throat> stop it. Y'all don't even know what's going on. Like, y'all got to start listening to the hype. Like, I chose to come home. Why did I choose to come home? For my own personal reason. For my own personal reasons. Um, It don't have nothing to do with none of that, what y'all said. Like, y'all just saying so much. And I'm here to clear it up. I came home for my own personal reasons. Like, please stop thinking that it's something that it's not. Uh, when I chose to leave, I didn't want to go, um, to the place they was going, uh, due to the fact of how I sound. Y'all see, I'm really sick. I got like an upper respiratory infection. <laughs> and on top of that, my son, he's sick too. He just got to the hospital. A lot of personal things going on. As y'all know that, um, when I was gone away, my son was sick. Um, I got an upper respiratory infection. It's clearly you upset what was going on in the house. You say it's not okay and made it sound like you were leaving because of that. But hey, maybe she wasn't happy with that. She didn't exactly say I'm leaving because of that. So Tommy basically tried to indicate that Akbar was fake crying. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna go home. We're not gonna put a tear on the eye. We're not gonna put a, a visine drop on her eye and act like we're crying and it's just an unbearable situation. We're not ever gonna do that. Girl, you just said people were shooting at you. You dodging like Grand Theft Auto. People is on coke and they high. We're not ever gonna do that. When you came on here whooping bitches, you came on here starting shit. You came on here doing things to people. This is a TV show. You guys have to understand work. Y'all have to understand work. We're not going with that story. That fake story that you made up and all these allegations and lies. We can't do that. It's not good. So, like, leave it alone. Whoever's giving you guys this information, they're totally wrong. Our team will never do that. Well, someone got the BB gun, and you, and BB guns are not safe, y'all. They're pretty dangerous. They can pull out an eye. Your eye could go, you can get blind if you get busted in the eye. We will never, ever, ever do that. We'll never let something like that happen. If we did, that would mean we're not protected. And that will also mean they don't care about our lives. This is a real job. This is a real network. Well, you clearly sneak something in <laughs> like they didn't search you properly. A lot of people were talking down on Akbar like, oh, you ran away from a gun. And um, I'm pretty sure I would run away from a gun. Who's stupid enough to stay around with someone with a gun? Are you staying behind? And you think that's gangster? No, that's dumb, bro. That is dumb. If someone has a gun, I'm running full of hills. In fact, I'm gonna dial 911 while I'm running. He got a gun. Now, Akbar has been shot in the past. So her experience is totally different. It sounds like she got PDSD. When you pull weapons and do things like that, me just being from the streets, it's just certain things. I be looking at people like, if I, one thing about me, when I see something, my first reaction is to get, get, the, get out the way. You only feel the way I feel if you've been shot. Everybody want to be gangsters until it's time to be gangster. I know how a bullet feels. I got it in my skull. It don't feel good. Y'all get on the internet and y'all play a lot. Y'all talk for a like, a comment. It's a bullet in my skull. But it ended up me being from a baddie to a medic. That was the only trauma that was going on, bitch. Can a ass so traumatize me? Unless you lying, like if you lying, a lying on me can traumatize a bitch like me. When you lying on me, I do get traumatized. I do get scared because I be like, oh my god, I don't know how to lie. So what I supposed to make up a lie to match that person? 
But other than that, like... She's talking about those allegations made towards her. And another thing. Real relationships and real guns don't go with fake guns and fake relationships. You feel me? Exactly. No, we're from Baltimore. This shit is... What are they talking about? What are they talking about? The medic. That was traumatizing. You know how much... You know how much trauma medics go through a day? Now I know from being a medic myself. Medic. Help me. What are you talking about?